Association, 1967, for this one. They had a couple hits in 1966, a couple in 67, and then made a bunch of albums for the next five or six years. But uh, they had a handful of just great tunes. This is, of course, Never My Love. Was a number one hit for them. Uh, it was written by the Adrizi brothers, Dick and Don, who were, um, this is actually about their most famous song. They made a few albums of their own as well. But uh, this went on to become one of the most played songs in the history of songs being played, according to radio stats. So anyway, what we're going to do in this lesson is talk about the chord progression, which is pretty, uh, which is actually pretty unusual. I mean, it does some, does some odd things. We've got some nice, uh, nice, nice little changes. We might talk about an instrumental version, uh, but we're going to throw in a couple of solos like I did there and another little one that goes, uh, that's going to go like this. Let me take a look at it. Oh yeah. It's a, it's like a little keyboard solo. Anyway, we'll throw all that in. We're going to talk about a nice little of the rhythmic pattern that has a dotted eighth and a sixteenth on the second beat. So we'll break down that, that kind of uh, rhythm that is very distinctive to the verse to the song. In the chorus, something else happens. It gets just really straight, heavy, heavy downbeats on the quarter notes. We're going to look at it in the key of C, although I've messed around with it in a couple of different keys. They originally did it in the key of D flat. So if you want to play along with the old recordings, move it up to the, put a capo at the first fret. Um, later on, they started doing it in D. Uh, there are some great videos out there of a Larry Ramos telling some kind of silly stories about, although it was about, it was about Cherish. Never mind. Um, so the, uh, but anyway, we're going to talk about it in the key of C, and we will take a look at those two little solos. We'll talk about the rhythm pattern that we're doing with your right hand. So there's some tricky things going on in this. So stick around or tune into the next segment, and we will uh, get carried away with Never My Love. I want to talk about is this little rhythmic pattern that we have going on with the right hand and, and if you take a look at the tab I have a lot of measures that just have a whole note in them and that means that in that measure this is just what you're gonna do is this this little uh, brushing pattern now now of course we have this distinctive lick in the beginning just play all those notes with your thumb so if you take a look at the tab we're going from E to F to G to B to C now I'm playing a C chord and what we have here is if you look at the uh, the intro tab, we've got a bass note on the first beat and a quarter rest in the strumming. The first stroke, the first strumming stroke, comes in on beat two. If we were just to do it with straight eighth notes, we'd have this. One, two, and three, and four, and. Now what I'm doing on the ands of three and four, are coming in and grabbing the strings, the top four strings, with my thumb and, four, and three fingers, and putting my fingers back on for a little bit of percussive sound, but also to um, stop the strings. Notice, so the second half of the measure is an eighth rest, then an eighth note, and another eighth rest, and an eighth, another eighth note. So it would be three and four and. 